Paul says we all fall short of the glory of God. Every single one of us falls short of his glory. There is a judgment to come, Paul says. In Acts chapter 17, he says, in whom he will judge the world in righteousness. There is a judgment to come. Yeah. But Paul says that Christ died and he rose again in Acts chapter 17. And he rose again and he conquered death. And if you want to conquer death, if you want to know what the truth is, if you want to know how to get to heaven, you've got to understand that Jesus Christ is the one that gave his life as an atonement, a sacrifice, who laid down his life on that cross that you may be delivered and come into the new age. The new age of the kingdom of God. The new age of the power of God. The new age of the Holy Spirit. The new age of the kingdom. There is a kingdom that has come and it came in Jesus Christ. It's not the kingdom of flesh, it's not the kingdom of man, it's not the kingdom of sex, it's not the kingdom of drugs, it's not the kingdom of swearing, it's not the kingdom of hate, it is the kingdom of God. And that kingdom came in Jesus Christ. And that king is coming here today and he says to you, the king of kings and lord of lords, put your, put your faith in him. Put your faith in him and he will forgive you, he will deliver you and he will help you. He will save you. He will give you a new life. From whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by which every joint supply of, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, become part of his body. When you become part of his body, you can be used by him. Used to do good works rather than hang around places that are not good for you to hang around. Is it good to hang around places where you, where, where, where you have to pay for sex or where you have to pay for drugs, they're not going to help you. But if you hang around Jesus and have faith in him, then, my friends, you're going to be part of his body. And as part of his body, 